Hey families, I'm Gary, and I'm so excited to have church with you right now. Now, before we join Connect HQ, I have to show you my new piggy bank. I was wondering if you could help me name it. I can't decide. Penny Porker? Bacon Money? Swine some cents? Man, they all seem like great names. I think bacon money is my favorite. I have waited for this thing. Ever since I saw it on a commercial, I wanted it. Christmases, birthdays, nothing. And then finally, I got it. I don't, I, I mean, I know I haven't had this very long, but Oh, I can't imagine how mad I would be if something, if some, if he broke. No. But I know that God would be able to help me. It's like our point says, when I feel mad, God helps me do what's right. Which reminds me, there's a Bible plan about how God helps us deal with our feelings. It's called dealing with feeling. Search for it in the YouVersion Bible app with your family or click the link in the description. I wonder how the Connect crew handles their feelings when they're mad. Let's jump into Connect to find out. Here's Jake. I'll be honest. I used to get kind of nervous about singing and dancing in front of my friends. But then I started thinking about how awesome God is and how he's done so many good things for me. I realized no matter how nervous I feel, God still deserves to be worshiped. So now I sing and dance to worship God whenever I get the chance. And those nervous feelings aren't such a big deal anymore. You can too. Get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
That place on the corner sells quality wallpaper, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Hey, Doc, this is local businessman Chuck Forte. Hi, I own the pet store just around the corner. I love that place. Those puppies in the window are so cute. I just want to eat them up. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah, Chuck just wanted to stop by and let us know about a couple of robberies around town. Yes, a lot of people have had things go missing, including a trophy that I won at the state fair for fattest hamster. Someone stole your trophy? You have fat hamsters at your pet store? Yes, to both. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is the time someone took something that didn't belong to them. I just wanted you to be aware, since people come in and out of here, keep your eyes peeled and your things safe. Luke, we got increased security for your piggy bank. You still have a piggy bank. I know it's silly, but you know, it's sentimental to me. It's one of the places you save your money. We can't leave it hidden in the lounge cabinet. She's right. If you've got any valuables, you need to keep them locked up. I should find a more secure place for it. 
Well, I better be going. I've got a shipment of Arizona cricket lizards coming in. You have lizards too? I gotta spend more time in this pet store. Well, I better get back to it. I'll come visit you soon, Chuck. Thanks for stopping by. Sure. Just doing my job as a concerned citizen. Aren't you angry? You have to move your piggy bank just because someone else is sneaking around stealing other people's things. That doesn't make me angry. But it's not fair for you. It's not. But there are a whole lot of unfair things. But I can't let my anger push me into saying or doing something that I'll regret. One time I got so angry that I punched a wall. It was not good. Did it make you feel better? Nope. Just made me angry at the wall for making my fist hurt real bad. It's impossible for me to have gone my entire life without feeling angry. But I can't let that push me into sin. So I remember this. When I feel mad, God helps me do what's right. And in that moment, I cool down and I pray. That's better than making a bad decision like hitting a wall. Well, it's just something that I do when I feel angry and am tempted to sin. Incoming transmission! Someone needs our help! Well, I guess I'll have to wait and find another hiding place for Mr. Piggle Giggle! <laughs> wait, uh, what did you just call him? Oh, I named my piggy bank Mr. Piggle Giggle. Okay, why don't I keep an eye on Mr. Piggle Giggle while you run down to the hub? Are you sure? Your money is safe with me. I'll be right back. I heard the alarm. It's an urgent call from our field office in St. Louis. Hey, Connect HQ. This is Kristen in St. Louis, and we've got a bit of a situation she here. She started it. No, I didn't. He hit me first. You hit me. Guys, 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 calm down. Look, these two siblings, Lucas and Zoe, have been fighting since they got in here, and I have no idea why they're so angry. I won't calm down until she apologizes. I'll never apologize. Please help me find a way to get them to calm down, and the quicker, the better. Thanks, Connect HQ. I used to fight with my twin sister like that all the time. I was just talking about anger with Dot. She's mad because someone's been stealing things around town. That's horrible. We should probably make sure that all the lockers are locked up tight. Let's find an answer for these fighting siblings, and then I'll do a full security sweep. But in the meantime, Dot has an eye on things. Okay, I'm working on a list of ways to calm down. What are some things that you do when you're angry, Captain? Well, I talk to God, and I talk to Alyssa. She's really great at handling anger, and she helps me figure out things that I can do. What about you? I used to do a lot of unhealthy things when I was angry. Like, sometimes I would hit things. Where is it? Where are you, little piggy bank? Where did it go? A piggy bank just can't get up and walk away. Or sometimes I would say bad words or scream really loud. Biscuits and gravy! Where did that piggy bank go? Gravy! Or sometimes I would throw a really big fit. I will destroy everything in the world! But then I learned how to take a deep breath. And then another one. And then another one. I have to tell Luke I lost his piggy bank. I'm glad he said he knows how to control his anger. You did what? I don't know what happened. I turned my back for just a second. 
I was saving that money for Safety World, the safest place in the world. I will do whatever it takes to get it back. Well, it's gone. It's long gone. Luke, take a breath. Maybe take a break. I can't think about breathing right now. Mr. Pickle Giggle is missing. And I just ask you to do one thing, just one thing. You really let me down, Dot. Wow, he's really angry. He'll be okay, I'm sure of it. I don't know where it went. It's okay, I'll talk to him about it. But can you do a favor for me? I don't know if I can be trusted to do anything right now. I still trust you, Dot. Okay, so we have these two siblings who've been fighting each other. Do you mind reviewing the Bible link to see if it works for them? You got it, Captain. Thanks, Dot. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Is alive. In the Bible, there was a rich man named Nabal who was known for being rude. <sighs> Nabal had a large flock of sheep and goats and a wife named Abigail. Unlike Nabal, Abigail was known for being sweet. Not far from where Nabal and Abigail lived, King David and his men were camping. David needed some supplies, so he gathered some of his men to send to Nabal's house. He told them to greet Nabal with kind words, and Nabal should return their kindness. So the men went to Nabal, greeted him with nice words, and asked him for some supplies. But Nabal was nasty. Go away! He shouted insults at them and told them to leave. The men returned to David and told him the things that Nabal had said. David was furious. He told his men to grab their swords so they could get even with Nabal. Meanwhile, back at Nabal's farm, Abigail heard how poorly Nabal treated David's men. She knew her husband's bad attitude could mean trouble for them. So she gathered food and supplies and loaded them up on donkeys. David and his men stormed through the desert, ready to get revenge on Nabal. Suddenly, they saw someone approaching. It was Abigail. Abigail bowed down to King David and begged him not to hurt Nabal. She asked David to stop and think before he acted out of his anger. David took a deep breath and thanked God for sending Abigail to calm him down. David accepted Abigail's gift of supplies and went home instead of doing something he might regret later on. Hooray! Because Abigail asked him to think about forgiveness, David chose peace instead of anger. Wow, David got so angry at Nabal. I hope Ray can help Luke with his anger the same way Abigail calmed down David. We need a new system around here. Non-stop security sweeps. Luke, you have a good reason to be angry, but I really I don't- I know, I know, I, I shouldn't have talked that way to Dot. I, I, I wasn't thinking, I was angry. Well, now the clock's ticking. You have until the end of the day. What does that mean? It says so in the Bible, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26. Repeat after me. Ephesians 4, 26. Ephesians 4, 26. When you are angry, do not sin. When you are angry, do not sin. 
Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. <laughs> what do you think would have happened if we let those fighting siblings leave the field office before apologizing to each other? Then they could have hurt each other. Yeah, and the Bible tells us that we shouldn't be angry for longer than a day. So you have until the end of today to apologize for the things that you said when you were angry. I read you loud and clear. Deep breaths. We'll see if the piggy bank turns up. I'll do a sweep of the entire building, make sure that it's secure. We help Dot with the transmissions for me? You got it, Captain. Thank you. I shouldn't have said what I said. I was angry. I didn't do what was right. I get it. I was pretty angry when I lost your piggy bank and didn't act the way I should. I forgot what you said earlier. When I feel mad, God helps me do what's right. I know some siblings that need to hear that. Ray found the Bible link. Do you want to make a connection transmission and then we'll go look for your piggy bank? I would love that. Look, we got a message from HQ. On first flight. No, I get to Guys, press it. Guys, I'll press it. Just watch this. Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Dot. And we have an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Ephesians. Say it like this. Ephesians 4.26. When you are angry, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. It's not okay to say or do something wrong just because you're angry. If you don't get rid of your anger, you might end up hurting yourself or others. Don't wait, deal with it quickly. There's a Bible story about a man named Nabal who treated David and his men badly. That made David very mad. So mad that David planned to kill Nabal, which would have been a sin. Abigail helped him deal with his anger by talking with him so he wouldn't sin. How can you make peace like Abigail? Everyone gets mad sometimes. Unfair things happen that will make you feel angry. Anger isn't a sin, but if you're not careful, it can push you to sin. That's not so good. Be careful not to let your anger come out in unhealthy ways like punching, screaming, hurting others, or saying bad words. There are a lot of ways to keep from sinning when you're angry. Pray and give yourself time to cool down before you make decisions. Talk to God or a trusted friend who deals with anger well. And when you're angry because someone else did something wrong, the best way to keep from sinning is to forgive them. Remember, when I feel mad, God helps me do what's right. Yeah, and being angry all the time is no good for you. So apologize to your brother or your sister as quickly as you can so you can move on. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. What do you say, guys? I apologize for calling you names. Sorry I took your bike. Phew. Thanks, Connect HQ. So, should we start by making missing posters or dusting for fingerprints? I like the fingerprint idea. Actually, Dot, we need to talk. What's up? Well, I was just down by the lockers and I found something. A clue! <gasps> Mr. Pickle Giggle! Can you explain this to me? Someone smashed Mr. Pickle Giggle! No. I mean, can you explain to me why I found this on the ground outside your locker? I didn't put it there. Luke, I didn't! Well, I'm sorry, Dot, but until we figure out what really happened, you're a suspect in the disappearance of Luke's piggy bank. What? what? I can't believe what just happened. I mean, Dot didn't do it. Did she? Now we have to launch a full investigation. No matter what happens next, we have to remember that Jesus gives us peace in the place of our anger. He helps us do what's right. If you've never made the decision to follow Jesus with your life, all you have to do is remember the A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. 
as you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect small group leader before you leave. All right, let's say the ABCs together. A, admit. B, believe. C, choose. If you want to follow Jesus right now, tell a parent or a leader you trust and pray with them. Then celebrate. Your new friendship with Jesus has just started. Following Jesus helps me do what's right. The verse we learned at Connect HQ talks about that. Let's say it together. Ephesians 4:26. When you are angry, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Great job! Sometimes when you're mad, it's hard to make the right decisions. Let's play a game about that. I'll say something and you decide if it's truth or if it's trash. If it's true, give me a thumbs up like this. If it's trash, pretend to wad it up like a stinky, slimy ball of trash and throw it far, far away. Okay, here we go. If I get mad, I should leave and ignore everybody when they try to find me. What do you think? Truth or trash? Yeah, that one is trash. Get it out of here. So many people would be worried if you left and you wouldn't be able to get your angry feelings out. Reading the Bible or talking to a trusted adult about how you're feeling will help you get over it. Now here's the next one. Even when someone's not sorry, I should forgive them because God forgives me. Tell me if you think if that one is truth or trash. That one is truth. Yes, great job. We can forgive someone even if they don't say sorry because God always, always, always forgives us. And it's really healthy for you too. Now, what do you think about this one? I should say encouraging Bible verses to myself when I'm angry. Hmm. That one is truth, way to go. Saying Bible verses is a way that God can help us cool down and make loving choices. Now, one more, truth or trash. If your sister breaks your toy, should you break hers just to get even? Oh, that one is trash, gross. Instead of breaking someone's toy because they broke yours, you could walk away, count to 10, or talk to a trusted adult for help. Then all the stuff in your house won't be broken and you still have toys to play with. Well, thanks for playing that game with me. I hope we can all remember, when I feel mad, God helps me do what's right. I've got a few questions for you to talk over with your family, but first, my friend Ricky is gonna tell us about some YouTube channels your whole family will love. Stay tuned for the cues, and I'll see you guys later. The fun doesn't have to stop here. We have a variety of content for your whole family all on YouTube. From early childhood to youth, we have LC Kids, Connect HQ, Loop Show, and Switch Youth. These channels are all designed to engage your family to discover who God is and a teaching style they can relate to. Follow up with previous messages and worship at Life Church, Life Church Worship, and Switch Worship. Head on over to YouTube and subscribe and look forward to some guilt-free screen time. <laughs>